What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today, we're going to focus in on the uh, top rated goalie for the upcoming draft, uh, Malcolm Subban of the Belleville Bulls. Uh, as us Bruins fans know, the name Subban has kind of a negative connotation. Uh, his brother's PK, uh, the, the very skilled Canadian defenseman that, uh, you know, has a tendency to dive a little bit. Um, he's, he's actually cleaned that act up a little bit. He's not pulling the same shit he used to, so. We'll give the Subban family the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Malcolm, like I said, his younger brother, goaltender for the Bills, which is PK's, the Bulls, excuse me, uh, which is PK's old old junior team in the OHL. Um, he was actually the only one in his family to be a goalie. Uh, his younger brother, Jordan, uh, is a defenseman for Belleville. Uh, he's, he's a middle child, so Malcolm in the middle, full pun intended. Not that funny, but uh, worth a shot. Um, his numbers this year are outstanding. 193 goals against and a 938 save percentage in 19 games in the OHL. Like I said, he's got to be considered the top goalie in the draft. Uh, six feet, 180 pounds can get a little bit bigger, I think. I mean, at 18, you're still obviously growing in your body, and uh, this kid's no exception. You know, he, he's really got the skills to meet all world talent uh, in between the pipes. I thought he should have been invited to the Canadian World Junior Camp. Um, you know, it's probably the only he would have been the only draft eligible goalie. But you know, the politics with Hockey Canada, they had to go Byzantine and Wedgwood and. I think it will really end up backfiring. So I think he would have been a lot more calm and composed in that Russia game than uh, Wedgwood slash Byzantine were. But, you know, obviously, uh, hindsight's 20-20. Um, you know, I like, he's wise beyond his years. Uh, like I said, the maturity level. Um, plays with a lot of composure. Bit, and, uh, you know, get great re reflexes, excuse me. And uh, uses them to his advantage. Kind of like Henrik Lundqvist, uh, as one hockey writer said. And, and I see it a lot. I see the athleticism there. That's uh, something you, you can really see, pick up on. Goaltending, being a goalie, the athletic system got to be there, and he's got it. Um, you know, he doesn't play; he doesn't have the same uh, swag and bravado as his brother PK, but he, he's you know confident between the pipes is what you need. Uh, all reports say he's a lot quieter than than PK, and uh, obviously, I mean, I, and it's not fair to compare two brothers, especially two two brothers who play totally different positions. You know, I, I think it's, but they're gonna be there. Any, I mean, you know, unless check the Southern brothers where every single one of them plays the exact same style. <laughs> Dump it in and dump it in and chip it in and play grind it out style. But I'm really excited for uh, what what Malcolm Subban's gonna do um, in the NHL in a couple of years. He's like I said, top goalie for this draft. I can see him going possibly top ten. You know, a lot of teams need young goalies in, the, in their organization, and a lot of teams are uh, having issues with goalies this year. And uh, now's a chance to grab this kid. Um, you, you really gonna regret passing on him, I think. Reminds me kind of Jack Campbell a couple of years ago. Uh, you know, ten teams passed on a lot of those teams are having uh, long term issues with that goaltending and um Campbell's one of the top goalie prospects in hockey. So I think this is a year that if you need a goalie you gotta grab one and I think Malcolm Subban uh he definitely won't step into the league next year under no circumstances. Um that and that's no offense to the kid either. It's just it doesn't work like that. Um Mark Andre Fleury was the last one to do it and he ended up going back to the Quebec League. You know, Barrasso did it and that was it, you know, uh that in recent memory that went right from a a non-professional team to the National Hockey League. You know, Barrasso is the exception to the rule, and that was, you know, close to 30 years ago. So, got to things change over time, and uh, I think with time to develop and possible some minor league season in a few years, he uh, will definitely be a solid National Hockey League number one that can uh, be a franchise changer between the pipes. Uh, that's it for the power play with CJ Prospect Profile on Malcolm Subban of the Belleville Bulls. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season. Later, guys.